Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to manage users in Windows Server 2022. Before we get into that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description below. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So here we are on Server Manager. This is uh, Windows Server 2022. Now I have this configured as a domain controller and I already have some users and groups and all the things set up, but we're just gonna kind of walk you guys through and uh, show you specifically how to manage users. So in the tools of the Server Manager, we can access Active Directory, Users and Computers. And this is kind of where the bulk of our editing is gonna happen. So we have uh, some different folders underneath our domain. We have both the bulletin, computers, domain controllers, and uh, foreign security principles, managed service accounts, and then finally users. Now within users, we can right click, and underneath new, we have uh, some options here. We can add a new computer, contact, group, etc. cetera. Um, and what you guys are probably interested in seeing is user. And by default, this user will be a part of the indigodomain.com domain. And we can just add in information like their name, last name if we want, initials, as well as a logon name. And then in the next steps is where we can set our password. All right, now let's say I don't want this uh, user anymore. I can right click and actually just delete the user entirely from the domain. Uh, it's pretty much just as simple as that. So by doing that, the user is deleted. Now I have a few other users in here that we can use as our test subjects. Uh, let's go over to Calvin and right click and kind of see what else we can do. So if we right click and hit properties, we can change some of the information. We can save an address, an account, member of. This is gonna show us uh, the member, the domain that they're a member of. We have an RDS profile and several other things. Uh, in the general tab, we can write in a description. I like to do that to kind of describe different people's roles in um, my demonstration company over here. Uh, so we just have different um, options and stuff that we can fill in terms of the properties. So I'll X out of that. Now we have the option to rename this as well. Um, typically editing the properties would make the most sense. And then we also have the option to add to a group. And then we can use this check names feature to search for a group. So for example, I want Calvin in remote desktop. So I'll put in RE and I'll search check names. And we can add Calvin to the remote desktop users group. So that's an easy way to do that, and then you just press OK. And we can see that that has successfully completed. Some more options that we have when right-clicking a user would be to disable the account or reset the password. Uh, resetting the password, we just, again, since we have an administrator here, we can simply just enter a new password for the user, and then again, we can disable the account. Now, since this is disabled, I could right-click and just enable the account again. So pretty simple there. And I'm gonna go ahead and make another user just to show you guys something else. Here where we're setting our, our password, we can select some different requirements for the password. I personally like to check these middle two and leave the top one and the last one unchecked. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about how to manage users, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.